In this video, let me consider two numericals on loop analysis. Using loop analysis, find current through 10 ohm register. This is one circuit and using mesh analysis, find current through 28 ohm register. This is another circuit. Let me consider the first example. So here we can observe that this circuit consists of two dependent sources. Both are current dependent voltage sources. Here it is dependent on the current IX where current IX is flowing in this branch and this voltage source is dependent on current IY where current IY is flowing here. Let me consider this loop uh, current as say Y. Let me consider this loop current as say X. So by loop analysis, now let's try to find the current through 10 ohm register. Let current through 10 ohm register is I. Now let me apply KVL to loop Y. That is apply KVL that is Kirchhoff's voltage law to loop Y. So I can write it as phi is equal to voltage across phi ohm register is phi Y plus V out 10 I X plus here the current through 10 ohm register is both Y and X but both are opposite to each other. So it is 10 Y minus X plus here we have phi U I Y. So here we can see that Y is nothing but I Y and X is nothing but I X. So let me simplify this Y is equal to phi Y plus 10 I X is nothing but X plus 10 Y minus 10 X plus I Y is nothing but Y that is phi Y simplifying this. So here 10x and this 10x will get cancelled. We will get 5y plus 10y plus 5y is 20y. So y is equal to 5 by 20 which is equal to 0.25 amp. Therefore y is equal to iy which is equal to 0.25 amps. So here we can observe that current is flowing in this direction that is current is flowing from negative to positive therefore I can write it as minus 10 is equal to we have current flows through phi the voltage here is minus phi i y plus 10 we have current x and y are opposite to each other I can write it as x minus y now we are considering this loop the current we have to consider this as a dominant current. So we supposed to write X minus Y. Then the voltage across this is phi X that is plus phi U X. Let me simplify this minus 10 is equal to. So I Y is nothing but Y minus phi into Y plus 10 X minus 10 Y plus phi X. So simplifying this that is minus 10 is equal to we have minus 15y plus 15x. So already we found y value that is minus 10 is equal to minus 15 into 0 0.25 plus 15x. So simplifying this that is minus 10 plus 15 into 0 0.25 is 0 0.25 plus 15 3.75 is equal to 15x therefore we can write x is equal to 6.25 divided by 15 which gives minus 0 0.41667 therefore x is nothing but ix which is equal to minus 0 0.41667 so now here we can see that current i is equal to that is i will be equal to y minus x so therefore i can write here as i is equal to y minus x that is i is equal to y value is 0 0.25 and x value is plus 0 0.41667 Solving this will get I is equal to 0 0.666 
amps. This is the current through 10 ohm register. Now let me consider the second numerical. So here in this circuit, we can see that there is a current dependent current source. Let this be A, B, C, D, E and F node. Let me consider the current through this loop is say x let the current through this loop is y let the current through this loop is z so here we can see that current x and 12 are in same loop which is nothing but x is equal to 12 amp we'll call it as equation one here we can observe that i is the current which flows through 28 ohm register in 28 ohm register current x and z both are flowing so i can write i is equal to x minus z because x and z are opposite to each other so here there is a current source between two loops if there is a current source between two loops we have to analyze the current source first so here the magnitude of current source is 2i that is 2i is equal to y plus z simplifying this i can write 2 so i is nothing but x minus z is equal to y plus z or i can write it as 2x minus 2z is equal to y plus z simplify this as x is equal to 12 amp that is 24 is equal to we have y plus 3z call it as equation 3 so now we suppose to apply kvl2 loop a b c d e f a that is apply kvl to super loop a b c d e f and a that is this entire circuit so let me start from a term the voltage across here in this loop there is no any voltage source so it is zero is equal to voltage across 8 ohm is it is 8 z then the current will flow like this and current will flow through 28 ohm register that is plus 28 we have z minus x because in 28 current x is opposite to z plus the, then the current will flow through 4 ohm register that is in 4 ohm current y is flowing so we are moving in this direction y is opposite to that so it will be minus 4y simplifying this 0 is equal to 8z plus 28z minus 28x minus 4y or i can write it as 8z plus 28 is 36z minus 28 into 12 because x is equal to 12 amp minus 4y 28 into 12 is 336 i'll take it on left side will be equal to minus 4y plus 36z call it as equation 4 so now we'll try to solve equation 3 and 4 so now solving equations 3 and 4 y will be equal to minus 3 amp and z is equal to 9 amp so now here we can see that we supposed to find current through 28 ohm register current through 20 ohm register is i that is i is equal to x minus we have z x minus z that is i is equal to x is 12 amp z is 9 amp minus 9 that is i is equal to 3 amp that is current through 28 ohm register is 3 amp this is the final answer. Thank you for watching.